we built a little shelf for the shoes with part of the wood that came with our van. I think this is going to be really handy for rainy days and we just leave the shoes outside. So we're going to start the common groove on this one, but you can't really get a level because the van's not level. So we have to use anything straight, anything that's a, a straight edge on the van, which is this piece here. So we have to start from the top and work our way down. But there's a, there's a cut. Because of this wall here, there's a cut here. So we have to start with a cut on top. But we have to start with a cut we have to start with a cut. Because you want. Not because I want. Because... <laughs> it's just because it's not going to be in line there, yeah, right? Because it's going to look like... And then he says that every time he's going to go and take a shower, that's not going to be in line. And then he's going to be thinking, should have done that. Should have just done that. Why do I listen to him? <laughs> so let's do it. Let's do it. Today, David's sister came down from Belfast to visit him, so I decided to work by myself and just keep the project going. It was an easy task anyway, I was just putting the wall, and then you can see under the support for the wall. Uh, I didn't really want to buy plywood for it, so it doesn't look good that layer under the wall but at least we used all the wood we had from the van the plywood that was on the van and it was enough to give us the support we needed to build the wall so that's where the toilet's gonna be today we will finish the wall here and you're gonna start the floor and then you're gonna put resin and do rather than put like a, a tray if you're gonna build our own so let's see how this is gonna turn out are you ready Sing. so what you can see here we are building this tray with wood just gluing everything and then later on probably the last thing we're gonna do on the van we are gonna put some resin and build our own tray so this means we can do the toilet exactly the size we want and we're gonna make this watertight later on. Go to the other side. Ah! Just buying a tray is of course much easier, but being able to have the toilet exactly the size you want is much nicer. We have the insulation here on the floor and you can see that we have the wood. So the reason why this is high here is because we're gonna build a floor heated but we need to put more stuff here. But for now, because we are moving, we want just to put the toilet, the bottom, like the, the toilet tray in here with the dump barrier and we have another one under just to finish up this before we move but basically that's it we have the plastic we have the insulation we have this to give some support and we're going to start the shower tray there and this is going to be the layer the tongue and groove for the floor that we are going to put today oh sorry called me dancing it is it's recording and it's actually recording recording because that that's the call so no crazy stars I had to finish this wall and this wall and get that up to the ceiling before we started the shower. So once we finished that, we, we made the, the base for the shower tray and then we're building our walls for the shower. So we didn't have uh, one of those jigs that drills diagonally. So what I've done was start drilling with a small drill bit at 90 degrees and then tilted it and drilled down. Same again, 
chilled in 80 degrees, tilted it up, drilled down, then got a 6mm bit and with the pilot hole drilled, drilled down diagonally like this and then the screws fit in, the screws went down really well. So here you'll be able to see the tray, how we build the support for the walls, how you're working against all the different levels and bends and etc that the van has. It is not an easy job until you actually figure out how to do. But once you plan everything, it is really nice to see the van transforming into a camper van. You're not helping him? And guess what we're gonna do just before moving to Port Minoc. We thought we were going to be moving today, but once we got to the apartment, it was disgusting, really, really dirty. Uh, we even found a used condom under the bed, so there was no way we were going to move. We need the apartment cleaned before we move in, so we're back in Rathmines, and then we're going to get the, the roof ready, and, and then we're moving in two or three days. And because the roof of the van is irregular, we're going to need to prepare and kind of level everything before we put the actual skylight. So you're going to be able to see there what we are doing. And because we had some leak on the structure fund, we are trying to do something different here. The guys from the Foxy, uh, another couple that's building their van, used this green kind of a sticky uh, material. So we're going to try to use the same to waterproof the skylight. The roof is really irregular, as I'm trying to show, but you can see everything we did to uh, waterproof the things, the layers to keep everything level. And we really believe that this is gonna work much better than this tractor phone. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you again for watching another episode to be following our journey. And on our next video, we're, we are going to be in Port Marnock. I'll see you there. Was to get, cut the holes in it and have enough room for the paint underneath.